Hi, welcome again. Today we are looking at something completely different than my usual content. So this is a shader viewer. It is based on OpenGL shader language. So basically I use this tool to like actually prototype some of the shaders. This is quite easy to use. And you know when you're using Unreal Engine it takes quite time to compile and uh, it's quite hard sometimes. So when you're experimenting. So this is quite instance. For example, let's say we have two colors here. So I can change some color. Let's say let's put something green. And then I save it and just click it, you know, its colors are changing instantly, it's compiling everything and it's quite, quite fast. So let's go back to the default color. All right. How does this work? All right. So basically this is available on GitHub. It's completely free and I'll release on the MIT license. So you can get it from here, go to the uh, releases page and you can download this exe and run it. Usually we don't run exes which is available on uh, internet even on github. So what you can do is if you are concerned you can see that here we have the source code. It's a simple Visual Studio project. You don't need to install any dependency. Just uh, run it uh, on Visual Studio and compile build and run it and it's, then you can have this binary on your machine and then once you have that binary let me show you how to use this. So this is the binary which I have in my downloads directory. So I can double click and open it and you get a white square like this. Then just click somewhere on the, this screen and uh, press S key. Then you have this window like this. So then you can, you can, you have two options. You can select the fragment shader or the vertex shader. Most of the time you need to use a fragment shader when you are trying to do uh, some color changes. And then you can uh, go through this browser and try to find a shader and load it. So let me open a shader. All right, now we have a shader loaded here and it's, it's running quite quite nice. So then how, how you can edit it? So in, in order to do that, we don't have any editing functionality in this tool, it's just a weaver. So you can use any sort of text editor and try to try to edit this one. So I'll show you right now how to do that. So let me close this. So I have already opened this here and uh, I have already loaded the shader and this is a source code. So I, I use VS code to edit my show source code. So you can use any, any size editor. Let's say I want to change something. For example, so here we have some uh, distance field. So I'm gonna reduce this, this power for let's say 0 0.2. Then I can save it by pressing Ctrl S and then I have to click somewhere on this screen, on this uh, on the viewer and it will automatically up get updated. So that's that's it. And in the future, so you don't need to click here as well. It will, it will automatically uh, update the shader as you save that. So that's, that's something in the works. Mm, right, and this is it. This is my simple tool. Uh, it's really helped me to experiment with shaders and um, come up with something interesting and then load it back to Unreal Engine and use it. And there's no easy way to load it to Unreal Engine. You need to create the graph manually. And if you experiment with here and you know how it works, then it's quite easy to move it to Unreal Engine. Alright, um, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.